Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome to another episode of our Week in Review series. We are uh, starting the peaking block, the, the home stretch, as we head towards USAPL Raw Nationals just a few weeks away. So here we will be covering the training of Marissa Inda, Kristen Dunsmore, Maddie Forberg, Joanne Ada, and then at the end of the week, special guest Megan Scanlon. Uh, you know, all of the ladies are gonna be on a bit different peaking strategy. So Meg is coached by Max, and I'll just see two of her training sessions, but for Marissa, Chris, Maddie, and Joe, uh, Marissa and Kristen, the two strongest, uh, highest qualified lifters in the group, they reduce their training frequency a little bit here, their total frequency of sessions uh, from five down to four, training Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. But their lift, their frequency of the lifts, uh, squat actually goes up a little bit. Um, bench is gonna go up for Kristen as well. Um, and bench goes up for Marissa as well. And this is, this is to allow for more technical practice. Our goals during peaking are development of technical prowess and the neural qualities of the one rep max. So because we're just doing singles, uh, doubles, a, a couple triples here and there, fatigue is not very high. Uh, muscular fatigue is not very high. Neural fatigue can, can be a bit higher from the higher percentages, but as strong as these women are, uh, the weights they're handling aren't gonna be beating them down that bad, uh, particularly for like Marissa and, and uh, Maddie, as I'll talk about a little bit more, just because they're so short, bar's not moving that far. Uh, so higher frequency training in this in this time, as long as we're properly managing uh, overloading intensity, uh, can be really effective. So for Marissa, you'll see Monday is kind of a, a moderate squat day, Wednesday is lighter, Friday is our heaviest squat day. Uh, in the bench for her, she's moderate on Monday, heavy on Wednesday, light on Saturday. Uh, with Kristen, because she hadn't been doing any competition benching as we tried to work uh, through some adaptive uh, some adaptive resistance to her technique, uh, she's gonna be benching on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. And that Friday is just a couple singles, just to give her more opportunities to practice the competition bench. Now for Maddie and Joanne, they're staying on, uh, Joanne's staying on uh, six time a week, six time a week training for both of them. Joanne's Thursday session is very small, uh, some you know, body weight, like some some push ups, uh, really more to promote recovery and, and a small amount of accessory work. Maddie, you know, with just two years of serious training experience, she's just not capable of generating that much fatigue for herself right now. So she's staying on six time a week training. Uh, she's doing singles in the bench three times a week, and you know, her bench is. is been improving hugely. 82 and a half was her PR previously. Uh, this week you'll see she does 92 and a half. So making some really big progress there and just trying to give her more opportunities to, to feel as comfortable as possible with those heavier weights, uh, starting to work towards a self handoff, which I'll talk about that a bit more as she, as she goes. Um, but yeah, just giving her a lot of opportunity to practice the skill of the one rep max, you know, the sport of powerlifting. Any athlete, as they get closer and closer to their competition season, basketball, football, you know, powerlifting, they're gonna, or basketball and base, uh, basketball and football, they're gonna scrimmage more. Doing doing singles and powerlifting is like the powerlifters scrimmage. That is the sport practice. So we'll take a look at, at this week's training. If you haven't been following up to this point, go back and uh, and watch the previous weeks. Subscribe to the channel, follow along, and cheer these ladies on as we get ready for USAPL Raw Nationals. Thank you. All right, so here's our first day of peaking training. Marissa starts her peak off with her heaviest deadlifts that she'll do. We put her hard deadlift work a bit further away from the meat because she's pulling conventional, because she's pulling very heavy. This is 185 kilos, 407 pounds. Uh, she's been having some sub-scap problems, which have been giving her some uh, issues with tension off the floor. So not our favorite deadlift that she's ever done, but uh, stayed patient through the through the finish. We're looking for her to initiate her hips into the lockout a little bit earlier, and some uh, baby powder I think would have cl cleaned up that uh, lockout issue there. On Monday, she's just getting kind of moderate practice in the squat. Again, we've decided not to we've decided to abandon the wider stance, so she's back to her very very narrow stance and just needing more reps to to kind of remember how to do that because it's been it had been eight or nine weeks. 
uh, without squatting on that. And then you see a moderate bench press from her there, 93 and a half kilos, very routine number for her at this time. Here is Kristen. This is, will also be Kristen's heaviest deadlift uh, of, the, of the training. Uh, she'll stay a bit heavier uh, with her weights because she's pulling sumo. We can manipulate things with blocks. Very strong 210 kilo deadlift for a PR there on her 29th birthday. So congrats to Kristen for the birthday PR. Great, great lift. Here is Maddie. Uh, Mondays now will be Maddie's lighter squat day of the week, actually. Fridays will become the heavier day. Uh, so here's 140 kilos, uh, you know, coming out, coming out of the deload. I think, uh, very happy with how that lift moved. Great technique stayed forward in our foot or knees stayed forward well out of the hole and just patient through the sticking point. Uh, the last few weeks we've been talking about Joanne as she deals with, uh, some hip shift issues, um, as she deals with some hip shift issues and, and wanting to show some of the exercise she's doing to correct them. So here is, uh, the band is actually pulling her in the direction of the shift, uh, and which will, when the band goes away, will make her body counteract that. Here she is doing some split squats. Great if you're dealing with unilateral hip shift issues. Again, check out our video with Dr. Quinn Hennock fixing hip shift in the squat. And uh, early in the week, Max and Joanne were still in Las Vegas. So here they are at Average Bros. They've been out there coaching our weightlifting, our weightlifters at the American Open Series 3. Uh, Mondays, here is, is now Joanne's lighter squat day of the week. Just getting some volume in, practicing, really focusing on tension throughout the lift, not dive bombing into the hole too much. So as we move on to Tuesday, only Maddie and Joanne are training on Tuesdays now. Uh, this will be Maddie's heaviest bench day of the week. And she leads it off with a very strong PR, 92 and a half kilos, 204 pounds. This is a 10 kilo PR from when we began working together about 10 weeks ago. Uh, yeah, no promises on the one kilo per week bench PR. And this is again, above, above her old PR, uh, 85 kilos, triple easy, very happy with how she's progressing there. For Joanne, we're not quite to this uh, bench singles yet. We want to keep a little bit more volume in uh, for her to, to retain fitness better. So this is 75 kilos. The, the bench, because the weights are the lightest, the peak can be the shortest. So for, for Kristen and uh, Joanne, particularly the way that their training's been set up, we're really looking for the bench to kind of come together the last couple weeks. And as an athlete, that can be tough sometimes to sort of trust that process and know, know that it's all going to be there the day that it matters at the meet. Um, but they trust me, so, so we're excited about uh, how they're progressing and, and know they're going to have it when they need it. Here's a very, very strong 95-kilo bench from Marissa on here, her, uh, her heavier bench day of the week. Great pause, great lift, just a, a very, very strong effort at 95. Wednesdays are her lighter squat day of the week. This is 120 kilos, and she did four sets of four with this. Uh, not too challenging of a weight, just giving her some more technical practice, allowing her to keep uh, fitness in, uh, as Monday and Friday squats are mostly just focused on singles with a couple doubles or triples as back downs. So the big thing for Marissa, right now she makes these technical adjustments back to her old technique is where she feels pressure in her foot and uh you know the tempo of her descent here is kristen's heavier bench day of the week 102 and a half kilos again she hadn't been doing any competition bench pressing since her last meet which was in uh early august so this is one of the first harder singles that she did pretty casual we're just going to be looking to ramp that up each week uh, leading into the meet. Strong deadlift day for Joanne, uh, 157, 162, and 167, uh, which is, I believe, a gym PR for her uh, and only a couple of kilos off of her meat PR. Came off the floor a little bit uneven, but she's doing a better job of, of making sure that she has consistent start position uh, every time and their hips are in the right place or sometimes when the weight would get heavy She would tend to rush the setup and start with her hips too high and exercise that can help if you're struggling with start position is the halting deadlift pull here to the bottom of the knee then a full rep So in doing a double on the halting deadlift, she's really getting four starts and two full lifts 
Uh, so if you struggle with the start, that's a simple way to get more practice. Now, I know when I wrote this workout for Maddie, 140 kilos for five doubles, uh, which actually ties her two rep max, though it was almost her three rep max. Uh, she probably was thinking I was kind of crazy, but she did a good job, did a good job with it. Um, you know, re really making sure that, that she's got a flat, uh, totally flat low back in the start. Uh, because her arms are so short, it can be a little bit tough to get into a great start position. But if she can keep that flat and initiate the her hips earlier than this, and we worked on it over the weekend uh, when she came to California, initiate her hips earlier into the lockout, she can smooth that out a bit. Here's Maddie's lightest uh, bench day of the week, Thursday, 87 and a half kilos for a single. Again, just giving her practice at, at the sport, practice at the sport of powerlifting. Uh, this is going to be her first nationals competition. She had done collegiate nationals, but I want to make sure she feels as comfortable as possible doing singles, uh, particularly in the squat and, and bench. Moving on to Friday. Um, Marissa obviously trains here a lot. Kristen came up from San Diego. Max and Joanne flew down from, uh, from Oakland. Uh, Maddie was in town from Chicago and Meg Scanlon came out from, from, Boston, so we had a full house here. Uh, Marissa, you know, we're, we're not pushing the singles up to up as high as we normally would with Marissa right now. Just giving her more straight across singles, more opportunities to be successful, practice her technique, feel comfortable. We know it'll be there when it needs to be. Uh, here's a 177 and a half kilos, 391 pounds for Kristen. Uh, with Kristen's squats, when it gets heavy, she tends to to slow down in her descent too much almost sometimes doing like a inadvertent pause squat. Um, she did an okay job of this uh, on, on this lift. I, I'm excited about how her squats coming along these last couple weeks as her glute gets a bit healthier, uh, which I, I think had been limiting her depth some. Here's a lifetime PR for, uh, for Maddie, 145 kilos. Very, very strong lift for her. Um, yeah, big thing for, for Maddie, as I mentioned in her earlier in our earlier uh, squat video was keeping pressure on the big toe, making sure that her knee stays forward into the hole. She's got a really good build for the squat, uh, and that's going to, keeping that knee forward is going to allow her to use it the best. For this set, for Joanne, 132 kilos for a double. She descended much quicker than what we've been working on. Uh, you know, kind of dive bombed in the hole, lost a lot of tension, but you can see on our next set here, 127 and a half kilos. She, uh, she does a better job. She stays tighter, more controlled throughout the lift. Uh, when she does that, it, it allows her to, you know, maybe she's not as explosive out of the hole that way, but it does allow her to grind much better through the sticking point where that dive bomb style, particularly if you're not a, you know, super heavyweight man, uh, can make it uh, very hit or miss to get out of the hole. Now, here is a lifter uh, that Max coaches, Megan Scamlin. She's a 57 kilo lifter. Uh, she's been training... Uh, on our super total program with Max since uh, right after the Arnold in March. Extremely strong squatter and bencher. She did, I think, four or five triples with this 160 kilos. Um, so look for American record performance from her at nationals in the, in the squat and the bench, most likely. Uh, here is Kristen taking a couple bench singles on Friday. As I said, because she hadn't been doing any competition benching, I just want to give her more more ch uh, chances to practice it. Uh, so she just did her whole bench workout on Friday was just three singles at 97 and a half. So just technique practice. Here's some more technique practice. Um, Meg, Kristen, and Marissa just rotating through five singles each uh, in the in the deadlift. 130 kilos for, for Meg and Chris, or sorry, 130 for Meg and Marissa, 150 for Chris. Again, we're just looking for perfect practice here. Uh, great attention to detail. Um, you know, as I mentioned, our, our goals in peaking technical prowess and, and neural qualities, the one rep max. So these small technical sessions can be very, very valuable in developing technique, in retaining fitness, uh, in what is inherently a low volume training block peaking, and uh, as well as actually decaying some, some fatigue uh, when volume is managed correctly. Moving on to Saturday's bench session for for my athletes, Marissa, Chris, Joanne, and Maddie. 
uh, mostly a lighter session. Uh, Marissa's just doing yeah, spoto presses, feet up, wide grip presses, nothing too exciting, just keeping volume in, uh, particularly for female lifters. Uh, bench volume through the peak is going to be important because they're naturally less muscular in the upper body. They can lose fitness pretty quick. Uh, Meg's benching was very, very impressive. She was knocking out sets of four at, at 100 kilos. Great bench build. Um, so excited to, to see her bench something really big. This is Maddie's moderate bench day for the week. So or as far as the single goes, so we worked on the self handoff. I really prefer self handoffs for lifters in the USAPL uh, and IPF affiliates because they they can't select their own handoff person. It can be be kind of a crapshoot uh, the quality of handoff you get, but if you do a self handoff, you know it's going to be consistent every time. So we're encouraging her towards using that. Um, she did some some volume work after that in variations in the feet up and uh, feet up wide grip and spoto presses. Here's Joanne doing uh, a little bit of board-esque type of work. Blasphemy from me, I know, but uh, helping her out with her confidence and handling a little bit of a heavier weight. She ended up going to 80 kilos for a triple on this. So great week, week of training for all these ladies. All right, so that was our first week of peaking training for USAPL Raw Nationals. Really excited about the progress this week. Some excellent lifting. Was a lot of fun to have everyone out here at my house uh, for a bit of training over the weekend. Uh, and so we're just just pumped on on how everyone's pro progressing towards nationals. If you're interested in online coaching, visit JuggernautCoaching.com. We're gonna have some uh, exciting new online coaching options available after right after uh, Raw Nationals. So be on the lookout for those. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, share it with a friend. Thanks for watching. See you next week.